Hi everyone, Donut here. If you're watching this video right when it came out, I'm over at twitch.tv slash Donut Operator streaming a cooking stream. Come use your Amazon Prime account to subscribe to me for free and it helps support the channel. Let's get on with the shooting. I don't know why this shooting is suddenly becoming a thing at this moment. Maybe the DA's findings just came out. Maybe the video was just released. I don't think so. Every one of you and your grandmothers has been tagging me in this the past couple of days while I was in Texas with Eli Double Tap, Matt Best, and Batty having a fan fantastic time so let's go over it i think it's because the algorithm on instagram picked up the black lives matter los angeles video on this from like over a year ago and it's gotten a couple million views the past few days it's weird how algorithms do that every once in a while if you go to the county of los angeles's.gov website you can find the district attorney's report on the christopher christopher mitchell shooting i'll leave a link to that in the description below i'm just going to give you the cliff notes version of it because i mean it's a shooting report so it's a couple pages long i don't want to sit here and just read every bit of it this is a breakdown by god and this is what i do we're going to stay completely neutral in this no bias i'm just going to give you the facts and you make up in your own mind if you think that this it, this it was it was right or not december 9 2018 see it's kind of an old shooting but it's just coming back around right now Christopher DeAndre Mitchell was shot and killed by the Torrance Police Department. Some people called police and said they were following somebody who was in their stolen vehicle. Um, it's an emergency. Um, my car was stolen Friday, and I'm right behind the person that's, that's in my car right now. Call disconnected, and then someone flagged down police saying, hey, there's my stolen vehicle. It's heading that direction. Inside of the vehicle is Christopher DeAndre Mitchell. Christopher Mitchell, our suspect in this situation, pulled into a parking lot, parked, officers found him there and blocked him in. As per standard procedure, one officer approached the driver's side and one officer approached the passenger side. What are you doing here, man? Don't move. Oh. Don't move. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. As per the district attorney's report, the officer on the driver's side yelled police and told Mitchell to put his hands on the steering wheel. Initially, Mitchell sat motionless, but then moved his hands to the steering wheel as directed. The officer on the driver's side began to speak with Mitchell, asking him, what are you doing here, man? Mitchell's hands came off of the steering wheel and towards his lap. At this point, he followed the movement of Mitchell's hands towards his lap and saw what he believed was a firearm. The officer on the driver's side drew a service weapon and said, don't move, don't move. In response, Mitchell raised his hands back to shoulder level. Mitchell looked at the officer, apologized twice and again moved his hands down toward the weapon. Both officers afterward described seeing a firearm between Mitchell's legs and his legs pinched together in what appeared to be an effort to conceal the weapon. What are you doing here, man? Don't move. Oh. Don't move. Oh, sorry. I'm out. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. They called in SWAT, they cleared the car, and Mitchell was dead. So to sum the whole thing up, the officers were looking for a stolen car. They found Mitchell in the stolen car, and he did have a weapon in between his legs. They could see the butt of it, as you can see in this picture, which that's a gun. Turns out it was just kind of a sawed-off pellet rifle. As per the DA, the evidence examined in this investigation shows that Mitchell was driving a stolen car. He was about to be detained for investigation of a possible grand theft auto. As the responding officers approached, they observed what they reasonably perceived to be a firearm in Mitchell's lap. Mitchell made movements toward the weapon. This shooting was the type of situation described by the Graham court when it spoke about officers being forced to make split-second judgments under tense, uncertain, and rapidly evolving circumstances. There's seven pages explaining why the DA found that it was legal and officers shouldn't be charged or fired or anything. The conclusion says, though, we find that officers Anthony Chavez and Matthew Concannon acted lawfully in self-defense when they used deadly force against Christopher DeAndre Mitchell. We are closing our file and taking no further action in this matter. I went over the facts and nothing but the facts. Uh, it's right from the district attorney's website. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. I'm going to be over at Twitch since this video is released. Everyone, please have a fantastic day.